you've got mail. So, I ordered a bunch of different mystery packs from eBay. So, there should be six of them here, one of which has two packets. And one of which, sorry, one of these parcels is just a Trainer Gallery Flareon. I don't know which is which, because Royal Mail decided to deliver all of these at once. Um, there has been strikes here in the UK, don't know if you know that. But, yeah. So, I've got all of these to open at once. I have numbered them from 1 to 7. So, I think we'll just go in order of how I have numbered them. Number 7 is um, the eBay seller actually messaged me to let me know they'll be dispatching them soon. Just after me ordering it. It was a nice touch. But the bag has got a wee rip on it there. But, um, yeah. So, we have parcel number 1. And this one came with two stamps on it. Nice and easy to open. Mm. Mm. I might have spoke too soon there. This kind of reminds me of like your grand wrapping at Christmas where she makes you really have to want to get in there. Hey, oh. I'm going to have bent cards by the end of this. I can't remember which one it was. One of them did have the wording. Um, oh! Isn't that lovely? It feels like Christmas. So, we have... I don't want to just tear into it. Um, but again, all the edges are taped over. How am I meant to... <sighs> lovely presentation. <laughs> Please use less tape. Okay. 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 These actually look quite good neck cards. Oh dear. Um okay, so card number one we have here, I can see straight away that it's from the Pokemon McDonald's set. I'm gonna be somewhat disappointed if these are all Pokemon McDonald's cards because I have the entirety of that set. There's only 15 cards, but you know, so Chin Chow, Cutie Fly. Ladybug, Drampa, Tynamo, Frog Crystal, which... <sighs> it's not Chillin' Rain, is it? I need to double check that. An energy, an energy, a Japanese energy. Um, mm. that was... Um, I'm kind of glad I don't know how much I paid for this. Don't get me wrong, the energy with a scratch on it isn't too bad. Um. <laughs> so, to recap for that packet, that was five Pokemon McDonald's cards. One Fog Crystal from what I think might be... What's that? Is, that, is it Chillin' Rain? It might be Chillin' Rain. Let me know down below if you know which one it is, but... Um, yeah, pack number one was surprisingly terrible. Four energies, a bunch of McDonald's cards. Ouch. And not a single rare. Can I just point that out? Like, none of the McDonald's cards are rare. That's an uncommon. And then... 2017 shiny energy. I don't think that counts as a hollow. Do you think it counts as a hollow? Well, pack number one was a complete dud, if you ask me. So... Mystery parcel number two. Let us see. I see this is a bit more simple. It's just a single bit of tape. And... Hey! It's my trainer gallery Flareon. Which is on a bit of card and a soft sleeve with a little thank you sticker on it. You know what? That card looks in pretty good nick. I'm happy with that. Mystery parcel two is by far better than mystery parcel one. Which says a lot since Mystery Parcel 2 was a single card. So, packet number three. Oh. Ooh. Okay. So, we have a Soul Rock from 2012. A 10 year old card. Would that make that. It wouldn't be X and Y, would it? It'd be Black and White series. My years. See. Black and white and X and Y are two sets I am very unfamiliar with. So, it could be either. It could be earlier. It could be Diamond and Pearl. I, th 
think it's black and white. So a Soul Rock, an L Gleam, a Trainer Team Plasma Grunt Supporter. I don't recognise that sort of card at all. Once again, 2012 Pokeball, Potion, 2012 Clang, Skitty, a Lunatone, a Superior, and a Reverse Macargo. 2015 for that one, 2016 for that one. So that's definitely X and Y, right? Then that one should still be X and Y, perhaps? Hmm. Well. Okay, we'll set that there for now. I guess that's the best pull we've had, a reverse. Although, that is very interesting. I guess it's Team Plasma, and that's to do with the, the image there. Wow. I think all in, that was like £20 for all of these packets, including delivery. So that's parcel number four. So I'm not that, you know, deep into it. Oh, well, that's actually quite nice. And a coin. Oh, it's a lichen rock coin. What would that have been from? Hmm. So, hope you enjoy. Please consider leaving feedback. Lewis. You know what, Lewis? I'll figure out which one you are. For that, I will give you a wee message. And if you're okay with it, I'm going to leave a link down below. So, let's see. There is a hard sleeve in here. So, I wonder if there's something really good inside. Out of the packaging so far, I think this has to be my favourite. So, oh, I can see in the back, you know what? Keep that there for now. Let's see what else he's given us so as an energy. Zinnia's Resolve, Bravery, Lit Leo, Chin Chow, but not the McDonald's version. It's an actual card this time. Who'd have thunk it? Dino, Pumpkaboo! I don't think I have a Pumpkaboo in my collection. Happy to see that. Carvana, Pinsir, Hippodon, and an Oranguru, 2017. That is nice. So, what did we get? A Lyapaired V, and that is, once again, I think Chilling Rain. Well, a Lyapaired V, from what I think is Chilling Rain, I might be wrong. If I am wrong, I will put a wee, like, you know, text on screen to say I am. So we have packs, parcel number five. So far, our best one seems to be from Lewis who actually gave us a couple of decent cards in there. I'll try and throw some prices up on screen if I can work out where comes from where. There's a little Levy on this. How do I open this without making a mess? Because I want to see what this is wrapped in. Because it actually looks quite... Oh, I've cut through the... Oh, well, that's that. That is that. Oh, this is the one that came with a sticker. I remember it saying there was a sticker. That's actually lovely. That'll be going on my PC along with the rest of them. And I can see a card and a sleeve at the back here. So we have an electric energy. Ball guy. Raiolu. Trumbeak. Cottony. Grumpig. This is some sun and moon cards by the looks of it. Nicket. Charmeleon. Arbok. Galarian Linun. A Clefairy of the Verse. And a Litten Hollow which is a promo card. If you know what this is from, let me know. I have no idea, I could look it up, but I always enjoy the interaction, so please leave a comment. That's a nice Clefairy as well. So, that one was quite good as well. I, hopefully, I'll be able to leave some of these links down below. Still can't get over that other one, though. I'm definitely not leaving a link for them. Um, giving me seven po Pokemon McDonald's cards. That's a little tongue in cheek, do you not think? Parcel number six which is another granny parcel that's just wrapped up in much tape. At least the other one had like a nice little Pikachu, uh, Pikachu, Eevee theme. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, that's a thick pack. That is a thick pack of cards, right? So, What should be all energies? So we have a leaf energy to start and Overquill, Reggie Drago, Yanma, this is brilliant star so far, Curlia, Pseudo Widow, Nicket, Basculin, Ursaring, 
Perugly, Azelf, Honita, Petilo, Cyndaquil, Chatot, Morpico, Shining Face Card, Crab Roller, Snowrun, Yanma, Snover, Venipede, Rowlet, Hippopotas, Quillfish, Swinub, Teddy Ursa, Ultra Ball, Pumpkaboo Reverse, two Pumpkaboos in one uh, opening, that's lovely, Golduck Reverse, and a Slacking. So no Vs or anything with that one. It's only one pack with a V so far. But, you know, <laughs> compared to the first packet, I don't think anything can lose. So, that does bring us to our final pack. Which, unfortunately, was opened at the bottom here. So, I'm just going to take the quick way in. So, you should have... Yeah, you do have two packets there. These are quite thin little packs, but it's not how thick they are. It's what's inside. Wording. Lotad. Sableye. Shid Ninja. And a Zerora. Four cards. Four cards? Okay, it's closer to... This one's got an energy in it. So, steal energy, justify gloves, and execute. And a Zygarde. That's actually a really nice Zy Zygarde card. So it's been a day. I've had a chance to look at which packs are what and how much they've cost me. To start off with, we've got the packet that came with 5 McDonald's Pokemon cards, 1 Uncommon Trainer, and 4 Energies. One of which was a Japanese Hollow. So as you can see here, this cost me £2 with delivery. This was cheaper than a normal booster pack, but with 4 energies and 5 McDonald's Pokemon cards, this one was almost pure profit for the seller. Apart from the fact that the packaging and shipping needs some work. See, they used first class stamps, two of them, which is almost as much as they've sold the packet for, so they can't be making much out of it. The wrapping paper was a nice touch though. The description for this one simply reads, Mystery Pack. What will be your luck of the draw? Well packaged and sent fast. Times 10 in a pack. Unfortunately, as bad as this was, the seller has now doubled the price to £4 for the same amount of cards. This one just doesn't sit quite right with me. I'd love to know what you all think about this one below. Overall, I need to give it a 1 out of 10. It only gets a 1 for the scratched hollow energy. It really was a disappointment, this packet. Next, we'll skip over the £3.75 flurry on that I ordered and go on to the black and white packet. This one came with 10 cards and cost £2.49. Inside, we got two common, three uncommon, one rare, one reverse hollow, and three trainers. The description reads, Pack of 10 cards. Each pack contains eight common slash uncommon cards. There may be the odd trainer, but mostly Pokemon. No energies. On a side note, this was kind of true. 30% of the pack was trainers, but thankfully there was no energies. One rare card. One holographic card. Reverse hollow, but may rarely contain hollow or better. I'll just have to take their word on the last part there. Then they finish off by saying, cards could be from any sets. Mine were from Black and White Plasma Storm, which was 10 years ago. I feel old saying that. But still, some vintage cards that I'm unfamiliar with for £2.50 was actually a really nice experience, and I was happy with the condition of these cards. So I'm giving this one an 8 out of 10. It turned out to be a really good pack in comparison to the rest. Next, we have my favourite from this one, from Louis. That cost me £3.99. It came with one energy, one trainer, five common, two uncommon, one non-holo rare, one holo, and one V full art. The description for this one is, all cards are in mint slash near mint condition. The ultra rare holo and reverse holo will all be sleeved. Full arts will come in card savers. All packs are securely packaged in a Pokemon sized jiffy bag. A fantastic gift for someone into the Pokemon TCG. All cards are English and genuine. And then it includes the usual breakdown, which was exactly what I got inside. Which to me was definitely worth the price. It's the same price as a booster pack here in the UK, and you're guaranteed an ultra rare pool. That leaves me to give this one a 9 out of 10. I was very happy with the results of this one, and if you check the description below, you'll find a link to these packs in the seller's account. Now, for the pack with the sticker. This one came very nicely wrapped in some Pokemon themed paper. This one also cost me £3.99, and inside I got 1 energy, 1 trainer, 4 common, 4 uncommon, 1 reverse holo, and one holo promo, which was okay. To understand why that's just okay, let's look at the description. The pack is packaged tight and securely, then picked entirely at random when an order is placed. 
Within a reverse holo, holo or ultra rare cards sleeved within the pack to ensure quality. Contains cards from the black and white, sun and moon and sword and shield eras. The packs are pre-packaged, shuffled and selected entirely at random when an order is placed to ensure fairness and integrity. You cannot choose the cards. Every pack contains one holo rare, EX, GX or V card, one reverse holo card, one trainer card, one energy card and 8 random Pokemon cards, as well as one Pokemon sticker. All of the cards are chosen at random. One in every two packs contains a V, a VMAX, EX, Full Art, Trainer or GX card. One in every five packs has a chance for a bonus holo. There will be another holo rare instead of the reverse holo. Which means I just got unlucky. Although personally I value a promo card as less than an ordinary holo. So all I would say is a comfortable 7 out of 10. My luck could have been better but it was well packaged and you got a sticker which I always appreciate. So that brings us to the Thick Boy pack. This was only £2.50 but came with 30 cards. As such, I'm not going to count all the individual commons and uncommons, but the following description gives the right breakdown. Pokemon Mystery Pack, 30 cards, hollow or V guaranteed. Please read description. They contain 1 Energy, 1 Trainer, 25 uncommon slash common cards, 2 reverse holo cards, 1 hollow or V card, no duplicates. These are low value mystery packs designed as a great starter pack for kids or new collectors. They contain more cards than a booster pack and cost less with a guaranteed holo or better, so they're a good value for money. Any questions, please ask, I'd be happy to help. Thanks for looking. So this seller is very right, it costs less than a normal booster. It has 3 times the cards and is really good value. I didn't get a V but it still gets a solid 8 out of 10. The seller was very clear and open about what to expect and it turned out to be a fair deal. Finally we have the two mini packs. These cost me £1 each plus delivery. So £3.60 all in. Inside pack 1 was 2 commons and 2 rares. Inside pack 2 was 1 energy, 1 trainer, 1 common and 1 hollow. With the following highly detailed description, Pokemon Mystery Packs. Perfect for the kids to open as a little treat after school. So although there's not much to say what's inside the cards, I ended up with some decent pulls. My only criticism is that if I'm buying multiple packs like I did, there should be a discount as the seller will be paying less than shipping. So if it was only £2.80, it would have been a better deal. Overall, I'd say it's a 7 out of 10. The description could be more informative, but it's still a really fun idea. And this seller was really nice, they even messaged me on the day of purchase to notify me about the fact that there were strikes at the moment so the parcel may be delayed. So most of these packs turned out to be fairly decent. One in particular left me a little salty, but the pack from Louis made for a win in my books. So if you've made it this far, please let me know what you thought. What was your favourite pack and do you think these packs were worth what I paid? That does wrap up today's video and if you've enjoyed it think about giving it a like, if you're enjoying my content think about subscribing and have a great day.